you feel like you're out of the flow and you want to know how to get back into the flow, how to get into that manifesting mode, how to get your vibes raised, we're going to talk about that. Stick around. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, welcome. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality and intentional living, the law of attraction, and all kinds of good stuff. So if this interests you, hit the subscribe button below because I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. So you guys, it is now 2.03 in the morning <laughs> and I'm still awake. I'm a hot mess, excuse the way I look, but I didn't want this to wait because the coolest thing has happened to me today. I've been feeling so out of sorts lately and just adrift <laughs> and for various reasons and feeling overwhelmed and just out of the flow. And so I actually asked my guides a few days ago to um, help me get back into the flow. I was like, help me figure out how to get back into that receiving mode, how to get my vibes where they should be. Help me to get into the flow and help me to get into the path of least resistance and so that I'm just flowing downstream. Help me to reconnect to that. And then I just forgot about it and left it up to them. And I think they worked their magic and they made it happen. Um, so let me tell you what they did. So I was on TikTok yesterday, maybe the day before, but I think yesterday. And on my For You page, this random video with these two young guys came floating down my timeline. And I can't remember their username, but it is something about their twins. And they're reacting to music. And these kids were, well, I call them kids. They're probably men. But, you know, anybody less than 40, I'm thinking they're a kid. <laughs> it just is what it is. So anyways, these kids were reacting to Dolly Parton's Jolene. And they loved it. But it was on TikTok. So you just got a little, little snippet, right? Like a little 15-second snippet. And so I immediately was intrigued by them and I went to YouTube and I found them and I will link to them below. And I spent all of yesterday watching their videos. I was fascinated because first of all, music, right? Am I right? I mean, music inspires you and it connects people. It brings people together. It Music just brings joy. Music is all about that creativity and that divine flow. And so music, first of all, will help raise your vibes. But what inspired me about these young people was that they were just listening to any suggestions or songs that people were sending in to them or going, you need to listen to this, you need to listen to this. It didn't matter the genre. It didn't matter the kind of music. They just listened to it and reacted. And I loved their reactions. They were so open-minded and open-hearted. And to see like the spark of joy that would come on their face, they'd be like, yo, this is so cold. And um, they loved the music. And that also led me to another guy's page who's doing the same thing. And so between the two channels, which I will link below, I have spent like every free moment of the last two days and I can't go to sleep because I'm loving their videos so much. I mean, you've got to see how many videos of theirs that I've watched. I will, I'll show you, look at this. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to scroll through this for a little bit and just show you how much of these videos I've watched. So this guy, his name is Dereal A Dog, A D O G G, and I have watched so many of his videos tonight. And then these are the other guys, uh Twins the New Trend. And I have watched so many of their videos as well. 
Dolly Parton, Janice Joplin, Aerosmith, Whitney Houston. They had never heard a Whitney Houston song. Come on. So you can see, I've probably watched hundreds of videos because I just can't quit putting, I can't put it down. It's addictive. Their joy and their enthusiasm for this music that is commonplace to me, most of it, it's music that I've taken for granted because I've heard it my entire life. To see it through fresh eyes, it almost makes me want to cry. To see it through fresh eyes and to see the joy and enthusiasm of watching someone else discover this music and getting lit up by this music. And so the music's raising my vibes, feeling like I'm connecting with these people's raising my vibes. And it's just like when Oprah used to give away cars and all kinds of stuff. You know, you get a car, you get a car. She, you know, when you give, you get just as blessed as the the person receiving the gift because to see someone getting blessed and to be in their presence blesses you. You catch that energy. And so to see these people getting so blessed and excited by this music, I'm all tapped into that energy and I'm blessed as well. And it also reignited this joy and this gratitude in me for this life. Spomi, my main guide, if you aren't familiar, Spomi always tells me that this is my favorite life I've ever lived. No matter what royal person, famous person, great love of my life, no matter none of those lifetimes I've ever lived, this one right here is actually my favorite life. And I never understood that before because I was like, I've had a lot of crap happen in this life. I don't know. But I get it. The older I get and the more perspective I get, the more I understand that. And tonight reignited that gratitude and joy within me because I was thinking, my gosh, what an amazing lifetime to live in. How lucky am I? How lucky are we that we got to live in this period of time in human history where we have seen so much music, so many different kinds of music, so many different genres of music just catch fire. We have seen explosions in country and rock and roll, rap and R&B. We got to see the whole New Jack Swing era come through, um, grunge nirvana i mean there have been so many different kinds of music blowing up just in our lifetime how special is that and we've got to live at the same time as so many timeless classic amazing talents you guys we got to live at the same time as Freddie Mercury and Tina Turner. <sighs> Anyways, all that to say that I'm back. <laughs> I now feel plugged in again. My vibes are soaring sky high. I feel so overflowing with gratitude and joy and I'm exactly where I need to be. And you know why? Because all I did was sit on my butt for two days and watch YouTube. <laughs> but seriously, I followed the path of least resistance. You know, focusing on what's wrong isn't going to help you. Trying to get to what's right. I've got to get there. I'm missing out. I've got to get my vibes up. That's not going to help you. Because that's just manifesting more lack. Because you feel like you're lacking that thing, right? So instead, you go general. And I have a video on going general from a few years ago. I'll link to that as well. But 
you just pull back and go general and you just find anything that can give you some joy. You just start pulling at the little threads until you find one that catches. So you may not get into videos like I did here, but you may get into something else and you just follow your curiosity, follow follow the flow until you find something that piques your interest. Maybe it's sitting down with a coloring app and coloring 50 pictures that night or doing a jigsaw puzzle. Maybe it's painting your toenails and just doing your makeup. I mean, none of us leave the house anymore. So my makeup is never done. My hair is never done. I never have a bra on. <laughs> but if those things light you up, sit down and do your makeup. Put on those lashes. Take some selfies. FaceTime someone when you're done so that they can see just how fly you're looking. They can be like, you look so dope. And that's going to light you up. Whatever it is that lights you up, maybe it's cooking. Get in there and cook a huge gourmet meal, even if it's just you at home. Follow your joy. Follow your excitement. Follow your creativity and your passion. I didn't know that sitting here watching all these videos would get me to my goal. But you know what? My guides knew. And that's why that thing ended up on my For You page. I'm sure of it. But anyway, so now I just, I feel like I just want to listen to all the music in the world. The next few days, I'm like, oh God, I forgot about that song. I want to put it on and blast it. We just ended up on a little Bee Gees marathon with this one dude. He had never heard the Bee Gees before and he fell in love with the Bee Gees. And most people are like, the Bee Gees, that's corny. But if you stop and listen to the Bee Gees, they are amazing. God, Barry Gibbs' voice and his falsetto and the music, so much of the music and the instrumental parts of disco music, amazing. And classic rock, like he had listened to some Leonard Skinner, Freebird, and he listened to the whole thing. It's like nine minutes and something. And the music that's in that. And Phil Collins, um, Coming in the Air Tonight. Put that on with some headphones. See if you can't appreciate the beauty and just how special that music sounds. So all of this to say, when you're feeling out of the flow, the easiest way to get back in the flow is to find something that sparks your passion and interest and gratitude and just get some joy going in in you. Maybe it's listening to a comedy show, whatever it is. Pull on the string until something catches and then just follow it downstream. It'll get you where you want to go. All right, you guys, I hope this helps. Until next time.